Hey, this is John from h &W Machine Repair. We're gonna go over some of the new Accurite DRO products that just came out. We've got the 100 series, the 200 series, and the 300 series. And this is just gonna be a quick overview of the differences between them. The new 100 series is basically your hobbyist series. Uh, it's gonna be similar to the old Quick Count where it's just X and Y readout, uh, inch, uh, inch and metric, diameter radius, uh, absolute incremental. Uh, they've got some new settings on here where you can uh, change the brightness on a moving scale so when nothing's moving it stays nice and hidden and you can set it so that the axis you're moving shows up brighter and then uh, and it kind of goes back into here. It's got the same reference mark as the older Accurites do and it also has uh, your feed rate over here so that as you're moving you can kind of know exactly what your feed rate is uh, over there. It's much more basic uh, than your VUE system. It's pretty much like I said just for the, the hobbyists uh, out there. Next we've got the DR203 the 203 only comes in three axis, uh, uh, hooked up already for three axis. So when you buy a two axis kit for this, it already comes with that third axis unlocked so you can add on to it later. The screen we've got it up on right now is the initial power on screen. So it even gives you an installation guide right here to uh, walk you through what you're gonna be setting up. Your languages, Okay. Oh, next. <laughs> Application, whether you want to do uh, milling or turning. Grinding is the same as turning in, in this instance. How many axes you want to unlock. Down to next. You can unlock either one, two, or three axis. And your position recall is all, all the accurate skills have position recall built into them. Uh, encoder type, you can also come down to your resolution, whether it be uh, 5 micron, 1 micron, uh, or 0.5 um. Uh, your reference marks are already on there. This is how you change your count direction to make sure it's going in the right direction of either positive or negative. Your error monitoring in case you uh, skip any, you know, skip any numbers on your glass. And then we're going on the second axis that's on there. And our third axis. Here's where we come up with our display settings. We've got uh, what our display resolution is gonna be. We want it to hold. Uh, we're gonna be holding that. Oh, this is all in metric. <laughs> hey, when you start out, it starts in metric. You can see that over here. Um, I wonder how we can change that. We'll just keep coming through this. X, Y, and Z. Color mode. You can have a day function or a night function. I'll go over that here in just a second. And now, this is what your main screen looks like. These buttons right here, these flashing lights, these are the same as your reference marks, so we haven't referenced anything yet. If we were to move and cross over our reference mark, you see how this one stays lit up? That means we are in, uh, we've been referenced, so we know where we're at. I want to change this to inches, millimeters. Uh, when I was talking about the uh, different color setups, you can actually have a daytime and a nighttime uh, looking readout. Oh. If we come down over here, I can change it to nighttime and I can save it and the readout will actually be darker on the back screen with all your numbers white. This might be easier in your settings in your shop, who knows. One of the other cool functions of the new uh, readouts is you can enhance the displays of an axis that's moving. 
instead of all three of these being the same, whichever axis is moving will actually uh, zoom in if you have the zoom function on or we can set it up like we had on the DRO uh, 103 where it lights up you can see how all those got a lot a lot softer and then it brightens up as you move that axis it's a little bit harder to see in the nighttime setting so the 203 is much more of your normal uh, shop digital readout you've got uh, you've got your tool settings you've got your uh, feed rate you have datums you have bull hole patterns uh, you can mill arc you can mill lines you can do all that stuff like that. It's very similar to your 200S, but it's not the direct replacement of it. And then we'll go over to the DRO 300 series, which only comes in three axis or four axis settings. Um, this is much more of a bigger shot box or a more advanced shot box. Uh, one of the coolest features about this one is you can actually have multiple user settings on here. You come into your setup and you can actually have different users set up their own. You can have up to nine users set their own settings. For example, the night or day the zoom enhancement or none or the highlight you can set all that up and then just preload what we got for example I, I made user one have the nighttime setting and you can see right here we've got person one and come back into setup we can actually change real quickly to user two who has completely different settings it has a supervisor settings, but we haven't messed around with that very much. Oh, it's got a passcode. One of the biggest differences between the 304 and the, or the 300 series and the 200 series, you actually have the ability to program. This is going to be very similar to on your 300S. You were able to write very simplistic programs to have your operators follow. Uh, we can go over some programs like that in a later video, but this is just a very generic uh, overview of it. One of the big th other things that the 300 has is the option to have an input output. This is going to be for your uh, CSS feeds on a lathe. This also could be done on an EDM machine. And this will be giving you those uh, those I/O settings that are necessary for uh, for those functions. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of our new Accurite products. If you have any questions. Give us a call at 1-800-285-5271.